What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a cool 3D wall detail in Revit. So I'm just going to be showing you how to create this kind of a wall segment that shows the whole, uh, all of the layers of the wall as well as the construction. It's a great illustration of uh, your uh, your complex wall in Revit. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, and if you want to download this uh, 3D uh, 3D Revit wall detail, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this particular project and as soon as it opens up, I'm just going to set the units to centimeters because it's a small wall segment and centimeters would be right for that. And I'm just going to go to the south elevation and here for the level I'm just going to change it to 2 meters or 200 centimeters just because it's going to be a small wall segment. Then go back into level 1 and now just go to the wall command and before we do anything let's create our complex wall. So I'm just going to use the generic 200 to start with and just go here to duplicate hit duplicate and let's just name it, I don't know, complex wall. Okay, so once we have our complex wall, let's go here into structure and edit it. Now this is going to be a very complex wall, so in the middle uh, we're going to have some construction, uh, but the construction is going to be added later on in form of columns. It's going to be like a wood framing wall. Now I showed you a couple of days ago how to set this up just basically in the floor plan, but now I'm just going to be showing you how to do it in 3D. So here uh, let's just find some insulation and let's use the pink stuff again and just hit apply, OK, uh, then go and create a new layer. Let's place it up, let's go one more, and yeah, one more. So we need three of these. And here let's set this up to some something like substrate, substrate, or maybe this should be thermal air, and here let's go with finish. So first here let's go with plywood sheeting, and let's go with two centimeters. So this is kind of to hold the whole construction part, then we have uh, now this is the exterior side, so now here we're going to have some sort of a air layer for the ventilation of the wall, and this is just going to be air, and we're later going to be adding some uh, three-dimensional construction elements, and let's leave something like five centimeters for this. And for the finish, let's do two centimeters of some sort of a wooden facade. So let's go wood, but let's use some nice wood like this birch wood over here. So I'm just going to load it in, hit apply, OK, and we've got the birch wood. Now let's do the same thing for the inside, just a bit different. So go insert, uh, let's bring it down, insert, insert, and let's scroll down. So first, again, we're going to have two centimeters, then five, or maybe not five, let's do three, just for an offset for our gypsum wall board, and for the gypsum wall board, it's going to be two centimeters. So we need something to kind of hold the construction, then an air layer just for all of the installation and cables, and then we've got our final inside indoor finish. So let's set this to finish, let's set this to air, and this to substrate. And here, let's go with, again, wood, and let's use that uh, plywood sheeting. Then let's go for the thermal air, air layer, and let's go with just air. Okay, and here for the final finish, let's use the gypsum wall board. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we've got our structure of the wall completed. Now it's time to just hit OK, OK again, and now let's use it in the project. Now I'm just going to do a 2 meter segment, as you remember it's 2 meters high, so if I go here and connect it to level 2, it's going to be 2 meters, so now if we go into 3D we've got this little square thing. And now to separate the layers, uh, it's very similar or the same thing as in the last one, so go here to Fine first, select this thing and then go here to create parts. Now to see on which side uh, is your finish uh, or your interior and on which side is your exterior, uh, just go here and set this to realistic and then as you can see this is our interior side and this is the exterior. Now for this detail we're going to be viewing it from the exterior side. So let's, yeah, let's view it from here. Now we need to adjust these 
uh, these layers. So first for the air layer, let's ex exclude the air layers just because air kind of has this kind of grayish uh, color and we don't really need it. So let's just exclude that part. Then uh, for this part, uh, before or actually before we start cutting these, let's do the inner, inner construction. So for that, let's go into level one. And this is just a quick job of loading in some construction elements. I just load in some columns. So just go to structure, columns, load family, find timber. So just structural columns, wood, timber column, and let's load this one in. And then we're just going to change it to be something like six centimeters by 20 centimeters. So it fits perfectly inside of this wall. So we can fit it inside. And now of course you can't see it because it didn't set the height right. So let me go back, go height, connect it to level two, and let's place it like this. Then use the align tool and align this to this and this to this. Select it, go to your array uh, just make sure that it's a linear array, uh, uncheck group and associate for the number. Let's go with five and let's go with last. You select the first part, the last point, and there you go. So we've got our structural elements. Now, if we go back into our 3d, as you can see, they're over here and now don't worry, we're going to be able to see them a lot better, but first let's start cutting this thing. So go here to divide parts and then you need to go sketch. But before we start sketching, we need to set the work plane. As you can see now, the work plane is uh, determined by this little line or presented by this little line, but we want it to be actually face up. So just go here to select or set and go pick a plane and just pick this front face. Uh, then go kind of like this. Now, as you can see here, we've got this inner line over here uh, can you see that? Okay, so this is the inner line and then we have this thing on the outside. Now, whenever you're uh, doing your lines that are cutting through your wall, make sure you start from the outside of the dashed line. So go from the outside, kind of like, I don't know, let's go like this and then like this. So you see, just go like that and let's delete these two lines. So just make sure that it's exiting the uh, outer dashed line. Just go finish and now we can uh, just go finish again, select the top part and we can exclude that part. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's go with the plywood. Okay, let's select it, come on, plywood, okay plywood sheeting. Now go again, divide parts. Now here you can go into edit sketch and just use pick lines, pick this line, extend it a bit again, just to exit those uh, dashed lines. Maybe we can go like this. Maybe, maybe do a little part over here like that, just to kind of make it similar as the, this one and maybe extend it a bit like that. Okay, just go finish, finish again. And let's see, let's select this thing and delete it. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, of course, you don't delete. You select it and then you go to exclude parts. Okay, so I made a small mistake there. Okay, now for the uh, pink insulation material. So again, you just select that layer. You go to divide parts and add sketch, pick lines. Let's pick this line, offset it just a little bit like that to the inside and then extend it and should work now. Okay, go finish, select this triangle, go exclude parts. There you go, now we have our construction kind of poking out, that's what we want to have. And maybe for this plywood over here, again, I just go to divide parts, uh, edit sketch, pick a line, select pick this line, and again, let's just move it a little bit to the inside. Yeah, like that. Hit finish, finish again and then we can select it and exclude parts. So now finally we can see the finish on the inside our gypsum wall board. Now this isn't it as far as the construction goes. So first uh, let's maybe select this outer layer and kind of divide it to give a horizontal wood pattern or wooden board pattern. So just go here to edit the division, edit sketch, and yeah, maybe go like, I don't know, go with a couple of lines here like this. Then we have to go here into SL split element, trim and extend, just kind of connect it like this. Did they manage to do it? No, of course I am not. 
okay for some reason this isn't working okay the, these were maybe too close so let's see let's try two centimeters will it work okay now it works so kind of go like that and maybe we can select these two go CO copy it upward I don't know something like 30 centimeters and let's copy it one more time by 30 centimeters okay so now go again SL split element split it here split it there trim and extend trim and extend same thing here so this will just give it a appearance of a kind of a wood material and then we can go and just exclude this part and as you can see now we've got this wood paneling now of course you can make it kind of more elements preferably we have more elements I'm just demonstrating here how to how to do it now let's add the vertical construction that's actually holding these boards together so for that uh, you can go here into level one go to architecture component model in place and here let's just search for our generic models okay and go here with extrusion rectangle and let's set something like this now what I like to do is I like to set it like this go MV for move center it here on the center of the of this construction element and then uh, you can kind of move it upward now you can select it go CO for copy and copy it down here place this here select both of them go copy and then copy this with check the multiple uh, just on all of the other ones exactly like that okay this one is a bit off so let's redo that CO for copy and let's place it there okay let's go finish uh, go into 3d 3d view okay extend this all the way up okay extend this yeah this works let's select the whole thing uh, go with wood let's find some third type of wood like sash yeah, okay that looks decent enough and now before we hit finish element or finish model I actually like to cut this so it kind of finishes off with the line of the plywood so for that I can go to create void forms void extrusion uh, set the work plane pick a plane okay pick this plane here then go with pick lines pick this line pick this line and then just do kind of a outside sketch trim and extend trim this trim that and go finish extend it to the other side and when we finish finish it off as you can see now it's kind of the construction is ending here with all of the the plywood so yeah this is looking pretty complex and pretty decent for a Revit uh, wall detail let's, let's just go to uh, finish model and yeah now you can even render it and maybe add some annotation but yeah uh, this would look coolest if rendered so maybe if I go render or no probably we need crop region for that stop 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 okay nope this looks good cool enough yeah so there you go that's how you create these uh, Revit wall details that you can use to explain your wall construction in Revit so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching if you want to download this project file this rendering uh, check out my patreon first link in the description so yeah thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for any future tutorials make sure to leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and of course have a nice day